Hey everybody, this is Steve Ward, and in today's video, I want to walk you through Power Automate and how you can use Power Automate with Azure Cognitive Services to automatically redact PII information. I put together a demo that I've also put into GitHub so you can download that and use that in your own environment. And the demo is going to leverage Power Automate to call Azure Cognitive Services to automatically redact data that has potential PII information. We're going to create a Word document automatically through Power Automate, and then we're going to send that as an email. Now, I think this is a really cool example of kind of highlighting how Power Automate can use a number of services, including Azure Cognitive Services. Additionally, when I show you the demo, I'm actually going to do this in our US government cloud. So this is going to be going in GCC High for Office 365 in conjunction with using Azure for government for the Cognitive Services piece. Now, let's go ahead and we'll switch over to my laptop, and then I'll show you the demo in action. And then after that, I'll show you how you can download this from GitHub and get started in your own environment. So here's the flow that I put together. We've got a couple of different actions in here. The main one is going to be an HTTP action to call the Azure Cognitive Services text analytics endpoint. And then we'll get that information back. We're going to parse the JSON out of it. We're going to extract the redacted text, if there was any redacted text. And then we're going to populate a Word template automatically. And once we get that, we'll go ahead and email that to the person that initiated this flow. So let's go ahead and test that. Now I set this up so the input text is the text that you want to get redacted. Now this text could come from anywhere, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm just putting it right here. So let's go ahead and give it some input text. Clearly, I put way too much personal information in here. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we run the flow. Okay, so we can see that the flow succeeded. If we go into my inbox, I now have a new email with a Word document as an attachment. We can see here that the template file did get populated with some information, including the date and also the redacted text. So you can see here that the Word template did get uh, populated with the information that we provided, one of which was just the date. The other was the actual redacted text. And in this case here, you can see that social security number, my name, Steve Winward, my company, Microsoft, and also my IP address were automatically redacted through the Cognitive Services service. So I want to go back to the flow and let's walk through some of the steps that happened here. So I mentioned that there was this HTTP action. Now I'm using the plain HTTP connector because today there is not a text analytics connector that does the PII redaction. You can use an out of the box text analytics connector for Power Automate. It just does not do the PII today, but no worries. I just used the plain HTTP connector. And then I just um, specified the endpoint that I have for my text analytics service. I then gave it the information, including the text that I want it redacted. I also had to supplement a couple other pieces of information. So um, content type, what I wanted to get back, which is JSON. And then I'm also giving it the API key. And then we can see here that the response was actually the redacted text. And that's what we're going to then extract in the next step of Power Automate. Now, we're doing a little bit of extra here because we are using a plain HTTP connector. But um, I'm also kind of showing you some of the internals of how Power Automate works when you want to call some of your custom APIs as well. So in this next step here, um, this is actually just parsing the JSON out, which means that I took the output of the previous step and I'm getting that as JSON so that I can use that in a future step. In this case here, I'm doing another operation where I'm doing a function on that JSON element to get just the redacted text section out of that. And we can see that's right here. And then now that I have that, I can easily call this populate a word template action, which gives a couple different things here. It's going to give that redacted text, and it's also going to give the date as well. Those are the two things that you would have saw in the previous step where that word document was populated automatically. And then lastly, I'm sending an email to myself to include that created file that was populated from the word template and show up in my inbox. Now I want to walk you through how you can get this demo working in your environment. Now I posted all this on GitHub, which you can see right here. And then I included links that you can actually download the sample flow and also the sample word template file associated with that as well. If you scroll down a little bit, there's a link to get the demo for the flow. And there's also a link to download the word template file. So we're going to download both of those. One other thing I want to mention here is this demo does require some paid version of the Power Automate licensing. This will not work with the seated version of Office 365. The reason for that is one of the connectors, which is actually the uh, Word template 
action to populate a word template, that is a premium connector that is not included in the standard seated version of Power Automate. So now I'm in the Azure for Government portal, and I want to go ahead and create a new text analytics resource to use it for the PII redaction. So go ahead and create a new resource. I'm going to search for text analytics and we'll create a new resource and we'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll call this demo redaction. We'll use the standard pricing tier and we will create this. Okay. So it looks like it got created. And now what we want to do is we want to go to the keys and endpoint section. There's two important things here on this page. One are your keys. So your keys are your uh, secrets that you can use to connect securely to the service. And the other one is the endpoint. So this is going to actually have the name that you provisioned in the environment that you have it in. So you want to copy both of these for the next step in the Power Automate flow of getting this set up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to import that flow and also the word template into a new Office 365 environment. So I created the demo and I demoed the demo in the video in Azure for Government and Office 365 GCC. This is a commercial Office 365 environment that I'm going to bring it into. And this is just going to show you that this example works across both our government clouds as well as commercial. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into OneDrive and we need to upload the word template file into OneDrive so the flow can work correctly. So we're in OneDrive. I'm going to create a new folder for this. And inside of the folder, I'm going to upload that template file. Okay, so now the template file is in OneDrive. So let's go back to Power Automate. We're now going to import the Power Automate flow. So we'll go ahead and upload the file. Okay, so we do need to set up two of the connections that are dependent on this flow. One is the Word Online Business connection, the other one is the Office 365 Outlook connection. So we'll go ahead and set that up. In this case, I have not created a connection for the Word Online Business connection in my environment yet. So we'll go ahead and create one. Okay, so in here we need to create the new Office 365 Outlook connection. So I did a search for Outlook. Go ahead and create. Okay, so that got created. Let's go back to the import page and we'll do the same thing for the other connection. So now we're gonna create the Word Online connector. So now we can refresh the list and we now see the Word for Business connect connection available. And now we can go ahead and import. Okay, so we did get an error here and really what's going on is that inside of the flow that I've created a template for, it does depend on a OneDrive location. Now, because I exported it from a totally different environment, there is an error here that it doesn't know where that location is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on save as a new flow. And now we just have to configure the OneDrive action to point to that file that we've created previously in OneDrive. And once again, we see an error here. Let's go ahead and actually choose the OneDrive for business that's in this new environment. And then for the document library, we'll choose OneDrive. And now we need to point it to the path that we created in the previous step for OneDrive. So we're going to go to the redaction demo folder. And then we're going to choose the survey template file. And now here we're just going to select the connection and we're good to go. Now there is another step here up top in this flow. I've got placeholders for the text analytics URL and the text analytics API key. So when we created the Azure text analytics resource, we want to copy those two values into here because right now it's hard coded to the environment that I had previously. So I'm back in my Azure for government portal. I'm going to first copy the new key and we'll paste that in there. And then I'm going to copy the endpoint and I'll paste that in here. Let's go ahead and test this and see if it works in the new environment. So I'm going to put the same input text that I put in the previous example. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into my inbox and we'll take a look at what the email looked like as it got sent out with the attachment. So we can see here, here's the email, here's the attachment. When we look here, we also have the Word document populated with the redacted text inside of it. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions about the demo that I put together, please feel free to put them in the comments below.